Hello everyone, Jeff with The Green Review. Today we're going to be talking about vegetable seed packages. We've got a whole bunch of different kinds here. One of the first things you'll notice on a vegetable seed package is the picture. If it's an edible plant, it'll be a picture of the edible part. If it's an ornamental plant, it'll be a picture of the ornamental part, the flowers or the leaves, whatever is the pretty part that you're buying. One of the most important items on the package is the name. Not just a common name, but the botanical name and the specific variety. Many different plants can have the same common name, so without the botanical confirmation, you can't be sure what you're getting. If there can be any confusion with other plants with similar names, then the label should also tell if this plant is an annual or a perennial. For instance, there are annual, perennial, and woody shrub forms of salvia. There should be a freshness or sell-by date listed, often formatted as packed for 2010, sell-by 1210. If the seeds are kept in a cool, dry location, most vegetables can be grown from seeds that are several years old. If the seeds weren't stored properly, they might not germinate. The country of origin for the seeds may be listed and the lot number will be included. The plant's height, width, and any special characteristics such as leaf color that make this plant unique will be listed in the plant description section. Vines and tomatoes may stop growing stems when they start flowering and are called determinant plants. If they continue growing new shoots, stems, and flowers throughout the season, they are called indeterminate. This size information is important for gardeners with limited amounts of space. Occasionally, extra information on insects or other growing tips are included on the packages of the better brands. If the plant has any special disease resistant, it will be mentioned. Tomatoes are re that are resistant to fusarium will have the letter F behind the name. And since there is more than one kind of fusarium resistance, there may be more than one F, or it may be listed as F1, F2, and so on. Tomatoes can also be resistant to verticillium wilt, V, nematodes, N, tobacco mosaic virus, T, and alternaria, A. If the plant is a hybrid, it may state that it is an F1 hybrid. This means the seeds grown from this plant will not duplicate the parents. If the package states the plant is open pollinated, it may have an OP on the label. If the package states that the plant is an heirloom variety or that it is open pollinated, it will come back true to type year after year from the seeds collected by the gardener. F1 hybrids will not come back true to type from seeds collected by the gardener. The package will describe the best methods of growing the seeds. It will say where and when the seeds should be grown, sown into the garden, or started earlier indoors. It will list the proper temperatures in each of these situations. It will tell what depth the plant, the seeds, the proper spacing, and if the seeds need to be exposed to light or dark conditions for best germination. The number of days it takes for seeds to germinate may be listed. The number of days to harvest after planting seeds or small plants in the garden will be listed. There may be a map on the package describing the best time to plant and grow the vegetables in your region. It may list how many days before or after the last frost date the seeds need to be sown in the spring and how many days before or after the first frost date in the fall that the seeds need to be sown. Some seeds benefit from soaking, scarifying, or adding inoculants. These techniques will speed germination or produce a higher germination rate. They are benefits to the gardener who reads the package and follows the instructions. Scarifying means scratching the outer seed coat so water can penetrate to the inner portion of the seed. The quantity listed on the package may be in the number of seeds or just the number of ounces or grams the package holds. Knowing the weight of the seeds in the package is not much help to the gardener and is probably the most useless bit of information on the package without knowing how many seeds are in a gram or ounce. Only searching through books will you find the formula to translate this into the number of seeds you are buying. Seeds packaged for home gardeners should include an approximate seed count. The germination rate is not commonly listed, but it is useful to know when deciding how many seeds to buy or to plant to get the desired amount of produce. Producers may open old seed packages and blend the seeds with newer seeds. Most seeds will germinate nearly 100% in the first year, and if the package says the rate is only 85%, then it may be that older seeds were blended in by the grower. The potential yield is sometimes listed on the vegetable package, and it too is very useful information for the gardener. 
yield will vary depending on the plant care, so it isn't often listed. If the seeds were produced on plants that were grown to organic standards, then there will be a mention on the package. Since this is a hot topic, the seeds will often cost more and the package will boldly state the organic message on the front. A random number on the package is probably the catalog or inventory and number and it means nothing to the consumer. The paper packet may be sealed with plastic or foil. It may be resealable and it might include a silica gel packet to keep out moisture. If the seeds are particularly small, fragile, or susceptible to moisture, they may be sealed in a small packet inside the larger paper package. Be careful opening the small package as the tiny seeds may blow away or spill easily. When you are looking at seed packages, it's oftentimes difficult to know how well the plant is going to do in your garden. The All America Selection Testing Program is an independent, nonprofit organization that tests new plants. They have more than 60 test gardens across North America. If you find that logo on your seed packet, you can be sure that this plant is going to do well in your garden. Write on the package the date you planted the seeds and keep the package for reference. Better yet, buy a small photo album and keep the empty seed packages in the folders. Take plenty of pictures of the crops and the garden and include any notes on problems. Include weather data and rainfall information. These will all be helpful in planning next year's garden. The package may say that the seeds are non-GMO, but what they probably really meant to say is that they are non-GE. All garden seeds are GMO, genetically modified organisms, and that's a good thing. The GE free logo is a better symbol to look for if you're concerned that the seeds are produced by traditional methods. The Charles C. Hart Seed Company is one of the few garden seed companies that understands the difference between GMO and GE seeds. This company has been around for over 125 years and is an excellent source of garden seeds. One last bit of information that is listed in the package, and that is the price. Hopefully you can find the seeds you want at a price you can afford. Just remember, a few ounces of seeds, well tended, will produce many pounds of fresh food, and that is a good deal. So what's all this mean to me? Well, you're going to become an expert by reading the seed packages and you can, can compare them when you're looking through the rack of all the different seeds that are available. You can do a little bit of comparison to see which plant is best suited for your conditions, best suited for your yard, whether it's determinate, indeterminate, all those kinds of things that we've just been talking about. You'll find that the newer varieties, the hybrids, will tend to be more insect and disease resistant than the older heirloom varieties. Now, a lot of people like the taste and the quality of the old heirloom varieties, so that you can go ahead and use those. You may have to apply some organic pesticides during the season to keep them healthy and producing, but that's just the trade-off. You get the hybrids that are more resistant or the heirlooms that are less resistant and that you have to do a little bit more work for. And this has been Jeff with The Greener View. Thanks for watching.